for a matrix of 2 by 2 let's say a here equals to a b c d the determinant the determinant of a is just the multiplication of a and d minus the b and c and you can use this determinant to find the inverse for a 2 by 2 matrix using this formula 1 over determinant of a and you interchange the position of a and d you multiply the b and c with negative 1 however for the 3 by, by 3 matrix and above or 4 by 4, 5 by 5, you have to use another method which is the cofactor expansion. So there are three steps that you need to consider for cofactor expansion. The first is the entry. You have to select an entry and the second is about the minor. Minor is the determinant of the smaller matrix corresponding to the particular entry. So in this case, let's say the entry 3 has been identified. So I have to get rid of the entry along the this row and this column. So the leftover entries here, they are the smaller matrix which has been assigned to this tree. So the minor will be the determinant of this smaller and this smaller matrix. And the way to calculate the, de the determinant is basically you use back this the two by two matrix formula. And the third aspect that you need to consider is the cofactor. The cofactor is the corresponding plus minus sign associated with that particular entry. And the cofactor sign will be started from plus followed by negative plus negative and for the second row will be started from negative plus negative plus and the third row will be plus negative plus negative. So the plus and negative sign they alternate with each other and you do need to memorize the formula for it. You just need to know we will always start with the positive and of course the next elements will be negative. So to find the determinant of A for a 3 by 3 and above matrices, the first is you have to select any row or column. So you can select this column or you can select this row. It's the, it doesn't matter. And you have to identify the first entry here which is the 3 for step number two. Next is you have to multiply it with the corresponding cofactor. So here is the example. Let's say we have selected the first row here and the first entry is three. So I write down three here and you have to multiply with the corresponding cofactor. And I know that the sign associated with this entry is plus. So I just put plus one here and you multiply with the minor. To get the minor, I get rid of the entries. I just need to cover the entries along the same column with that three and the entry along the row here. So the minor will be five, eight, four, six here. Then you have to repeat with the other two entries and sum it up, which means that, okay, let's, cons let's assume that we take the first row here. The next entry will be one. So I write down one here and the associated cofactor sign is negative one. So this should be a negative one here. And then the minor will be the smaller matrix. So one is this the entry here. Now I'm going to cover the entry along this row and along this column. So the left row will be two, one, and six, eight. And the minor will be the determinant of this two, six, one, eight matrix. And the last entry will be the negative four. So I write a negative four here and the associated cofactor sign is positive. So I just multiply it with a positive one and the corresponding minor will be okay so this is the entry here negative four so I'm going to cover six and eight and cover one and three the leftover matrix is two five one four and that's why the, de the minor will be the determinant of two five one four and to solve it basically you just need to multiply everything out and then you sum it up you'll get the determinant of 26 and there are two smart tips that I think you need to consider when deciding the determinant. So the first tip is the smart choice of row and column. Go for the row or column with the most number of zeros. Why? Why don't you try out this example here? We have a matrix of four by four and some of the rows and columns that have quite a lot number of zero. So you can try to select these, let's say the first row, you calculate the determinant and then you do with the second column here, 
with the most number of zeros and you will realize that which one will be easier the second tips is that the triangular matrix the determinant of the triangular matrix is just the, the summation, the multiplications of the entries along the diagonal. For example, this is an upper triangular matrix. The determinant is 1 multiplied with 4 multiplied with negative 6. You don't believe it? So try to work it out using this method and you'll find out that this actually is a very smart tip for you to determine the determinant for a 3x3 and above matrices 